right. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Oh, oh. Looks like oh, there's up. Oh. oh, all right, perfect. Oh, another one. Oh, okay, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Perfect. Perfect. Fluffy's here. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah. All right, uh, Kyle, you're good. Uh, Andre, you're good. Uh, is Fluffy good? I'll get to you when uh, when I see your name. No William in, no Claudia yet. Uh, I saw Joel, Jackie G, Wiggy, Wiggy, Wiggy. Kevin, you're good. Fluffy, Joshua, Joshua, Joel's good. Uh, Joel, 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 Joel. Yeah, I marked him here. You're good. Um, no Eddie yet. Uh, Mahano, Martinique. Where's Martinique? There's Martinique. Martinique. Uh, Brianna, no Brianna yet. No Emily yet. Melissa's good. Yennifer's good. Alyssa's good. Um, Chris is good. Alex is good. And I thought I saw Juan on Juan. Is Juan here? No Juan on Juan yet. Okay, we'll get started at 1102. Oh, there's Eddie. How are you guys doing? Fluffy is here. Okay, that isn't anything. How are you guys doing? Henny said good. Okay, good. I'm well, I'm glad that I guess she's good. Um, uh, have you done the test yet? What's that? I have, yes. I haven't put them in yet, but I have finished your period, though. And a lot of you guys did pretty well. I want to go to sleep. Boo. Uh, oh, look at that. It's Jennifer's birthday today. No, it's not. It's May the 4th. Or okay, fifth. well, we're going to pretend it's her birthday today. I think it's the 4th. Is it the 4th? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's the 4th. Well, I appreciate you fooling everyone, Jennifer. Uh, again, we'll get started at 11.02. Uh, I have, like, uh, lovely ass. I did grade your exams. Um, I have your scores here. I'm not going to tell you the scores. I will update them later tonight. Uh, well, you guys did pretty well. Like, eh, like B, C's, give or take. Um, remember, you guys can take the grades, office hours to get more points, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've put in the bulletin, by the way, all of your homework is due by Friday, okay? If you have not finished any homework, and that includes the extra credit, too. So that means um, after Friday at 11.59, if it's not in, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a hard zero. So do not ask me, but me, sir, can I turn it in? No, I'm not going to let you turn it in later after, Okay. Um, so, oh, well, if it's on Monday the 4th, so we'll celebrate on, on Monday the 4th. And we have class I did that day, Jennifer, so we can celebrate it then. Uh, any questions about anything? Yes, there's a new lesson today, and I posted homework already. Boo! On Sunday. And Boo! Really fine. I'll let you leave if you, if you don't want to stay. Yay! Morning, sir. And I won't give you extra credit, and you get a zero for the day. Boo! Hello. Yes, Kevin. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Kevin. How are you feeling? I'm good. Okay. You, we're, we're still good after what happened last time, right? Nah, I'm not going to talk no more. <laughs> nope, you gotta keep. Asking. You got to keep asking Jackie now. Yeah, you got to talk to her now. He's still on it. He is still on it, kids. He won't let no, it go. I'm not gonna, no, mister, I'm not going to talk to you for the rest of the year. Yeah, there you go. No way. No. That, you think that, I won't? You think I won't? Mister, you know me, mister. I, uh, yes, I know you, and there's yeah. no way, Kevin. So are you going to hold that grudge if I see you again next year? What? Are you going to hold that grudge again if I see uh, you again probably. next year? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to purposely fail you so I can see you again next, next school year. So uh, I can have we're not having school next year again, mister. Uh, if, if I fail you, I can put you guys in my class next year. Can you fail me? No. All right. Please. Let's move on to this. Actually, if you want to feel, go ahead. I mean, it's your, it's your choice, not mine. Okay, this chapter is going to deal with um, exponential functions and then the inverse of exponential functions, okay? We have three different functions here, 3x, x to the third, and 3 to the x. We are going to um, make tables for all three of these, okay? And we're going to go from one to four, essentially, okay? So let's make a table for 3x. Okay, and let's go from one to four. Okay, x, y. When x is one, anybody, what's the answer? Zero. Are you kidding me? One. 
one. Thank you, Je Jennifer. Thank you. Three times one, which is three. How about when X is two? Six. Thank you. When X is three? Nine. And then when Nine. X is four? Good. Thank you, Melissa. 30. No. Thank you, Jennifer. 12. Okay. Now let's move to another one. How about X to the third power? Okay. In fact, uh, let's do this. Um, Kevin, uh, thank you, Jennifer. Kevin, when X is one, what's the answer? Remember, it's one to the third. And you said it already, Mister. There you go. You have it right there. Okay, so just you could have said all that and just said one answer. Can you tell me the answer, know. Kevin? One. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> you didn't sound very happy. Okay. Uh, how about when X is two? It is two to the two. third. Two to the third, it's, and that equals four. Oh, eight. eight. My Remember, bad, my two bad. times two times two. Okay, very good. How about when X is three? Nine. Wait, no. no. What am I doing? I'm so tired. 27. Good. And then lastly, when X is 4. It, uh, no, not 81. 48? No. No. Are you kidding me? You have phones as calculators or you have calculators. Thank you, Jennifer. 64. I'm kind of busy. I, I didn't, okay. What are you doing, Lobley? Sleeping. All right, three to the power of X, okay? This changes things, okay? When X is one, it's three to the first. What is three to the first? Good, Jennifer. How about three to the second? It is nine. Three to the third. Twenty-seven. And then lastly, three to the fourth. Dirt. It's not dirt. Thank you, Jennifer. Why is okay? Why is Jennifer and Kevin the only one participating? I'm not participating. You just said something, so I included your participation. I didn't say anything. I heard a. I heard a dirt. I heard you say a number. I heard Lobley say dirt. That doesn't count. I mean, uh, you, you, <laughs> you know. You know what, Kevin? All right, moving on. All right. Um, notice this function right here, the one on the left, okay, where it says 3x. This type of function is what kind of function? Linear? Yes, it's a linear function. Okay, so this is a linear function. I want to move to Mr. Lamb. Okay, great. How about the middle one? That is a what? It begins with a C. Sequence. No, the C. Oh. C, the letter C. That begins with the letter S. <laughs> <laughs> um, give us another hint. Can you give us can you give us the last letter too? Sure. C. What? Really? Oh, I was about to do What shape is quadratic? Oh, that's a K. No, it's not. It's a Q. It, that that's a Q. Well, Q, yeah. How is that Q? Circular doesn't have a Q? No, no, no. What I'm saying is a quadratic has a Q. I know the answer, but I'm not going to say it. Okay, can you please tell us, Kevin? Nah. How about this for five extra credit points? I'm sorry. I'm not going to sell myself for five points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can anyone tell me? Jackie, do you know? Wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. Um, cab, cab. That's a U. Oh, that's a U? Yes. Uh, U cubic? Thank you. It's a cubic function. Okay. Cubic function functions have a three on the top. Good. How about this last one here? Three to the power of X. When the X is an exponent, it is known as a what function? Mister, can I have the extra credit points? No, because I had to fill most of the letters for you. Okay. Three to the power of X is what type of function? Exponential. Thank you. It's exponential. And what we're doing today, <laughs> okay, what we are doing today is we are figuring, or we're not, we're going to be working with exponential functions today, okay? Now, to prove that it's exponential, we are finding a common ratio. To do that, we're actually going to divide the numbers. When I divide nine by three, what do I get? Thank you, Jennifer. How about 27 divided by 9?
good, also three. And if I do the same thing here, 81 over 27, that's also three. This is what's known as your common ratio. Okay, and that common ratio is what you're multiplying by to get to the next number. Any questions on that? Okay, thank you, Jennifer, for re um, responding for everybody. Okay, what are key features of an exponential function? Well, if you notice, the exponent is x, obviously. Okay, you have a base. Okay, and um, we are finding our, we know our common ratio. Okay, uh, domain, no matter what x is, it's always gonna give you an answer. And depending on what you're doing with X and Y, your answers are always gonna be greater than zero, okay? Let's do a little food for thought, okay? Let's do this. If I gave you guys this, two to the negative 100th power, how do I rewrite that as a reciprocal? The negative 100, the two on top? No. Okay. Okay, if she, if, she, if, she, if she wants to be the leader, then she should tell me the answer then. What do we do with the exponent? You run line leader, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what do we do with the exponent? <laughs> I can't believe you brought back elementary school. Are you kidding me right now, Jennifer? What, whenever we have a negative exponent, it goes to the what? Oh. Oh. The negative exponent goes to the what? X. The other thing. Thank you, Jennifer. Bottom. It goes to the bottom, and we turn the exponent to a positive. So it's to the power of 100, meaning it's not a negative answer. It's not negative. So no matter what, even if it's a negative exponent, you're never going to get a negative answer. That's why your range is always going to be bigger than zero. Your answers are always bigger than zero. There's one other thing we need to know. Two to the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is what? Zero. I'm gonna, that's the boy of the seed. Two to the power of zero is thank you, one. It's always zero. one. Anything to the power of zero is always one. Any questions on that? Okay, so same thing, right? Notice this one though, okay? If your, if your um, uh, common ratio is less than one, your graph is gonna go in what direction? Notice how this, this graph, was the two is bigger than one, so it goes up. But when it's less than one, it's gonna go good. It's gonna go down. Even if you have your number you're multiplying with, okay? It's always gonna go down, okay? Here we go. So let's look at this here. Without graphing this, okay, let's talk about, oh, and asymptote, by the way, uh, we only have a horizontal asymptote. It's where it makes the line flat, okay? And then we can say the, ha! <laughs> is at zero. So we can say y equals zero, okay, for the sake of argument. Okay, or the x-axis essentially. Um, without graphing this, okay, let's talk about domain and range and all that stuff, and we'll graph it after. What is the domain of this, of this function? Does every x give you an answer? If you look at that function, you think of numbers that you can plug in for x, does every x give you an answer? Yes. It's probably, not. probably not. Uh, Okay, Kevin, thank you. It is infinite, right? So it's all real numbers. Very good. Okay, now the range, okay? You can never get what type of answer with this function? Negative. Negative, Negative. good. And you can never get what also? Uh, anything zero? Something. No, you can get decimals Abtract that are bigger than oh. one. You can zero? Get, yes, you can never get zero. So that means y is greater than zero, okay? Um, and there's only one, there's only one uh, intercept, and that is the y-intercept. And it's obviously when x is zero, the answer is one. Let's graph this real quick, all right? Let's pull this out. I'm going to pull this over here, do a new tab, and we're going to use good old, what are we going to use? What do you think? Desmos. Thank you. We're going to use good old Google Desmos. Maps. Don't worry, be happy, mister. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, my tabs. That's right. Okay, for the 0.5 power of x, notice how it's going down. Because your base is less than 1. Yes, thank you, Jennifer. Also, good old Desmos. 
okay? We're graphing it. Oh, by the way, it wasn't zero, 01, it was zero, 04. My bad, it's right here. Huh, I made a mistake. It's not one, it's four because of the number that we're multiplying with. My bad. I'm sure that made Kevin very happy. Okay, wow. there you go. Yeah, that's what you, that's probably, what you probably not. <laughs> that's where you get your, your y intercept. Mm -hmm. It's whatever you're multiplying with when x is zero. Okay, so it's four times one, which is four. Okay, um, and then the, um, the horizontal asymptote, notice how it's getting flat on the x-axis. So we can say that uh, y is equal to zero is your, huh. okay? So it's y equals zero, okay? Any questions? Mister, you know, when uh, I was in elementary school, I came out in the LA Times and in the news. You did? Yes. Congratulations. Moving on to this, okay? What if, okay, and this is where it's going to change things, okay? Anytime there's a negative next to what you're raising to the power of X, it's going to flip and it's going to flip up and down, okay? So when there's a negative next to it, it's going to flip up and down, okay? When there's a number outside, you're going to move the graph up and down from the original point, okay? When there's a negative inside, okay? Um, <laughs> this is weird how the way they write it because this is oh my bad got it never mind got it. i was looking at something different okay so yeah notice how when the number is outside we move it up and down when the number is multiplied by a negative we're flipping it up and down okay so let's focus on this okay when there's a number next to the x okay this goes with what we've always been talking about this value is our value of k and we moved it down four right when there's a number next to the x, in what direction are we going to move it? I don't know. When there's a no, stop it. Everyone knows. When there's a no, number next I'm not going to say anything, mister. When there's a number next to the x, in what direction do we move it? Left. Left or right. Since your h is technically negative three and it, there's a positive, so that means it'll be, it'll be a, a negative event. Essentially, it's gonna move to the left. Okay, it's moving to the left, left three. Okay. All right, when there's a negative next to the X, however, it's gonna reflect left and right. Okay, so when there's a negative next to the X, it's gonna reflect left and right. Okay, any questions? <clears throat> All right, moving on. I don't know, oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Now let's look at this question here. The population of a large city was about 4.6 million in the year 2010, and it grew at a rate of 1.3% for the next four years. Part A states, what exponential function? models the population of the city over a four-year period. We know it's not linear. We know it's not quadratic because it's a percentage. Whenever we see percentage, we always think exponential, okay? We always think exponential. That's very important, okay? And we actually did this before. In fact, we did this in our S back review, okay? Remember the A one plus R one minus R? This is exactly what we're doing, okay? So this 4.6 right there is our A sub one. It's our first number. And this, since it, it, it's increasing, it's one plus R. And remember the percentage was 1.3%. I'm gonna move the decimal twice to the left. And there you go. That's the number you're adding with. That's why you got 1.013. Voila, you got your function. Okay? Nah. Any questions? Nah. Okay, and then you plug in four and then you get your answer. All right. Really? All right. Yeah. All right, so in 2040, the, so after that, or part B, if the population continues, you just plug in 30 because the difference between 2010 and 2040 is 30. So T, remember, it represents the years after 2010 for that question. Any questions? Nah. Okay, here we go. Easy. Um, 
factory purchased a 3D printer. The value of the printer is modeled by this function. Here's my question. Is the value of the printer going up or going down? I don't know. Stop it. Look at your equation that we have here. Is your value of the printer going up or is it going down? <laughs> Why can't anyone tell me one word answers? Down. Thank you. No, it's down. Thank you, uh, Lobley. Since it's less than one, it's going down. Oh, you made a you get a point, mister. I'll think about it. All right. No, because you said no, and it was the right answer, so you won point. What is the value of the printer after 10 years? What am I going to do? What am I going to plug in for X? 10. Good. Thank you. So it's going to be 30. Okay. 0.93 to the power of 10. We use Desmos to find our answer. Here we go. Sure, Fluffy always answers but never gets nominated for a value shirt. Mm, my gosh. All right, here we go. 30.93, power of 10, Some voila. 14.51. Okay, 14.51. So, uh, it is equal to 14.91. So, that's how much the printer is after 10 years. Does the printer, and we already talked about this, does the printer lose more of its value in the first 10 years? Or in the second 10 years? Second 10 years? Let's check. So after 10? Okay. Yes. It was 14.91. Okay. And that came from 30. And then after 20, because that's 20 years past. Okay. We're going to plug in 20. Okay. Here we go. So instead of 10, we're going to plug in 20. It's 7.07. .07. Flavio was right. So notice how we started with $30, right? How much did we lose more from uh, zero to 10 years or from 10 to 20 years? 10 or 20. No, because the difference, no, the difference is seven. What is the difference between here and here? It's oh, it's like seven. 14 it's something. 16. Well. So we actually lost more in the first 10 years. Uh, we ah. lost more in first 10 years. Which is not even anything, was it? Okay, well, in, in, in times like these, it could be. Nah. Stop it. Jennifer, do you have a question? All we're doing is making comparisons. The question was asking, does the printer lose more of its value in the first 10 years or in the next chunk of 10 years? So after 10 years, it lost this amount. After 20 years, how do we get, oh my gosh, Martinique. We plugged in 10 for X. You got the equation. Uh, wow. Let me double check if you were correct. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Huh. Martinique, <laughs> you ready for this? You yeah. get an extra credit point, Martinique. I'm going to change it to 5 1. Martinique is not going to give you anything, so chill, bro. Don't just get too one excited. point. Just, just one, one point. point. No, he's he's, he's going to give you nah, one nah, point, bro. Don't get excited, point. bro. Okay, you know oh, what? Just damn, because, damn. because everyone's complaining, Martinique, you get two. Everyone else is going to get one, except for Kevin, you get zero. Bet. Mr. Calm down. Not everyone's complaining. It was only him. It was I said, okay, okay, yeah, Melissa, I'm giving you an extra credit point on top of the extra credit point you, you're getting today. So you're getting yeah, give me don't give me anything, Mr. I'm good. I know. So you're getting zero plus the one that I'm promising you today. All right. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. Moving on. As we talked about uh, during the SBAC review, when we grow, it's one plus R. When we, when we decay, it's one minus R. That simple. We've talked about this a million times during our SBAC review. Any questions on this? I don't get it. I think I just turned off my monitor. I think... Well, I just broke my monitor. All right, moving on. My wow. Okay, a car was purchased for $24,000. The function can be used to model the value of the car in thousands. Oh, shoot, I just turned off my computer. Oh, did I? No, no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Woo. Yeah, you did, uh, you did, you did. <laughs> no, I'm still here. Oh, goodness. Okay, so here's my question. The value of the car, okay? Notice how your decimal is less than one. Is your value of the, of the car going up or down? I don't know. 
Stop it. Look at your point eight. Is your value of the card going up or down? Probably. Oh. It's less than one. So therefore, the value of the card is going what? Down. Good. It's going down. Very good. Because it's less than one. Okay. So it's decreasing by 20% each year because I take one and subtract by 0. 0.8. Okay. And then we graph it, blah, blah, blah. What do the y-intercept asked to represent? When would the value of the card be $5,000? Um, we basically just try to figure out where it would be five and then blah, blah, blah. We find our answer. Okay. So let's look at this, this year. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh. 220 hawks were released into a region on January 2nd. The function can be used to model the number of hawks after 2016. Is the population going up or down? I guess. You can guess. You have a one in two chance. Up? Yes, because it's bigger than one. So it's going up, right? Your base is bigger than one. Since your base is bigger than one, it's going up. In what year will the number of hawks reach 280? So what we need to do is we need to graph this function, and then we're going to look at when will it be 280. Okay, we're going to estimate. So here we go. Okay, uh, it's 220. Uh, one point, I think it was 02. Oh, zero 05. Wow. Okay, zero 05 to the power of X. Okay, we can pull the table up. Okay, so we don't have to really look at the graph. We know the graph is somewhere up here, but what we can do is we can pull up the table. I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to click to convert to table and voila. We want to figure out when it's going to be 280. Okay, three, four, five, six. Oh, look, when does it become close to 280? Between what two numbers? For the X's. Between what two numbers does it get to 280? I don't know. Stop it. Look at your answer. Five. No. And four. Not five. Yes, five and four. Very good. I thought you were going to go five and six. Four and five. Okay. So we can say between the fourth and fifth year. Okay. So in this case, we're going to move this over here. So between the fourth. And the fifth year, but it says after 2016. So how many years passed after the fourth year after 2016? We're gonna add a, a four to 2016. So what year does a does it represent four years after 2016? 2020 yeah. coronavirus. Oh my gosh! And then the fifth year, 2021. Very good, 2021. Okay. Any questions on this? No. Okay. Uh, Martinique, do you have any questions? It's his birthday. Oh, shoot. I'm missing messages. What do you know? Jenny? Oh, my God. They were not in. Oh, four and five. Martinique, you actually told me earlier. Um, no, yeah. I did. Well, Martinique also told me. All right. Nah, but I told you first. See, you never appreciate you? Fluffy. Nah. It's messed <laughs> up. Comparing two functions. Okay, a museum purchased a painting and a sculpture in the same year. The changing values are modeled as shown. Find the average rate of change. When you see the words average rate of change, what should come to mind? I don't know. Stop it. Slope. Um, yes, yeah. slope. Okay, what is the average rate of change of the value of each artwork over the five-year period and which artwork is increasing more quickly? Okay, so here's this one. Okay. Happy birthday, Martin. Here's a function. Okay, so what we need to do is find the slope when x is 0 and x is 5, okay? We need to find our answers also when x is 0 and x is 5 for that equation, and then we find the slope. And we're trying to figure out which uh, is increasing more quickly. So we're looking for the bigger number. And notice how this one, the graph, gave you a bigger answer. So the, the painting value is increasing more quickly compared to the, um, to the sculpture, okay? So in example five, will the value of the painting ever surpass the value of the sculpture according to the models? We need to explain. Okay, so here we go. In order to do this, we need to make our equation, okay? That so, is much Nick's birthday, bro. Like okay, cool. I'll wish him, can I finish this lesson so I can wish him happy birthday? Goodness gracious, Kevin nah. Hernandez. Da, da, da. All right, let's figure out um, our ratio, okay? 
So let's do this, all right? So let's figure out our common ratio. 64.4 divided by 40, okay? Oh, that's actually not the way to do it. Okay, then I'm gonna take the fifth root. How do we do the fifth? Oh, okay, 1.61 to the power of one over five. So it's 1.099. So my equation is 50, 1.0999 to the power of x. Shouldn't it be 1.1? Cause we you have a zero. Then put one, mister? I'll put 1.1. 1 .1. There you go. Oh my gosh. All right, and then the other one is uh, 50, 1 So 50, 1 to the power of x. Okay, we're trying to figure out if the sculpture is gonna cross the, um, the uh, what's it called? Uh, the painting, okay, that's what it's asking. Yeah, okay, yeah. so if I click back to this and I click to this, okay, let's go to this. Will the value of the painting ever surpass the value of the sculpture? Okay, well, I think it already did, essentially. Yeah. So if you notice, they both started at 50, um, and one went up more quickly than the other, okay? The one in red is the, is the painting. The one in blue is the sculpture. So we can say, yes, it already did when X was equal to 50 because the one in red goes higher than the one in blue. So it's yes. We go up in the graph. If I keep going up, notice how the one in red is going to be always higher than the one in the blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it'll be yes when x equals zero, okay? So that's when they both cross, and that's when the, the graph in red, that's when the painting is gonna be a higher value compared to the painting or compared to the sculpture, okay? You're just graphing both and then you're making comparisons after. All right, are there any questions? No. Nah. Okay, um, my office hours are filling up pretty quick, guys. Okay, let me find my notebook real quick because I threw it on the ground and so earlier. I dropped out, mister. You didn't drop out. Stop it. Yeah, you're still in class. Okay. I did. I did the Zoom app. Oh, my gosh. Oh, got it. All right. So, Marco and Eddie. Oh, sorry. I have a 2.30 tomorrow. I have a 3.30 today. And then on Friday, I've got a 2.33 and 3.30. They're filling up quick. Okay. Can I join Marco's? Uh, Marco is, is a freshman, so no. Oh. Okay. Can I join the one on Friday? Um, that's also a freshman uh, at 2 o'clock. Do you want to do a 2.30 on your own, Kevin? Who else? No one else? No one else. Leo. Nah. It's me and you. Oh, my God. I'm guessing no. I all right. Um, you guys have all done very well. I'm rooting for all of you guys. Um, again, if you want to fix your grades, you need to visit me for office hours so we can fix your quizzes and fix your tests. I'm going to post yeah, the Go ahead on Friday, mister. What's that? Friday. Okay, I'll put you down for 2.30 on Friday. You've been sending me emails, so you'll check your email to find, for your, um, to find your, um, your Zoom code. Okay, your Zoom link and your password. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, Melissa, was that you? Yeah, did you um, ever put in my extra five credit points? I don't remember. Uh, put my grade in first. K. Okay, thanks. I will be putting everyone's grades in Emily at the same time because I'm an equal opportunity grader. No, you're not. You prefer nah. Jenny. <laughs> you know what? Just <laughs> exactly. for that, you reminded me of something. I'm going to stop sharing. Wait. No, no, no. I don't want to share. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to turn on my video so we can all see everyone else. Nah, I don't want to see more ritual. <laughs> <laughs> there it is there it is what? yep the smile and the wave the traditional end to our class oh, boo jenny boo what why are we booing jenny yeah like it's Cause? birthday month well not even we're not. not yet not till this friday monday not till this friday yeah mm -hmm. mister yes melissa mister Yes. Can you add me Let's, for Friday as well? I'll put yeah, you down. Yeah, Brianna. Put you down for three o'clock on Friday. Mister. Yes. While you were teaching, I was playing. What were you playing? Some. Were you playing? Mister, my Facebook? neighbors have loud music. Play Minecraft, Mister. Okay, Mister, you remind me of I'll Angry check. Birds. 
Angry Birds doesn't exist anymore. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. Yes, you it does. Indeed. You can't find it. Yeah, I can play it. I found myself. Mister. Okay, I'm gonna search for it right now. Okay, I'm gonna search for it right now. Then, Mister. Oh, Mister, can we see your Central City uniform? Oh yeah, it's right here. See, it? there you go. Why are you wearing? Oh my. Why can't I wear it? If I, I can't, I can't see. Uh, let me search on mine. Hold on. Because they haven't made that in years. Angry. Mister, it's in the store, Mister. Oh wow! What do you know? There's five a, extra credit points. Yeah, the whole class. No, no, I'll give you, since I made a mistake, everyone's getting one. Nah, hey. make it two. Okay, fine. Everyone gets one. You get zero again, Kevin. So cool again, zero. another zero. I'm all right with that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Since no one asked questions, I've signed up, signed up for office hours. Um, Kevin Hernandez, you're at 2.30. Melissa, you're at 3 on Friday. And then everyone else, if you want it, let me Wait, know. Wait, can I, can I go at 3 with uh, Melissa? You can go. Wait, no, Mrs. It's not Brianna. Melissa. It was me. Brianna. That was, Wait, that was who, Brianna. Who, who, who? Oh. That, that sure. wasn't me. My bad. I'd rather because um, we're, since yeah. you both are in, in different ordeals, yeah, yeah. I'd rather give you guys one on one attention. So, Kevin, I'm I mean, just, yes. Yes. I'm it wasn't you. Melissa that asked you for office hours. So it was it Brianna. It wasn't me, mister. Uh, who was it then? It Brianna, Brianna Martinez. Oh, Brianna. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, I made another mistake. So yeah, I should get two because I corrected you twice. <laughs> All right, nah, so I'm getting make it everyone. Okay, everyone's getting. Is, is she even online? I think she left. Oh no, she's still there. Brianna, was that you, Brianna, that said she you wanted office hours? Yeah. Yes. Got it. Okay. It's just that you know, Brianna, you guys almost sound exactly the same since I can't. Damn. Really? Really? Yeah. Mister, are you serious? My you can't bad. tell us apart. My right? voices, it's tough. My voices, yeah. it's tough. We can't really tell the difference between you and Mr. Gray, Mr. Like the voices. <laughs> wow, Mr. Gray. Yeah. Mr. Gray. Oh my God. Yeah. I see it. I see you sound it. the same as Mr. Gray, Mr. <laughs> in what world do we both sound the same? That sounds impossible. And, and they, in they, they, this they both world. go involved, Mr. Look. Look right oh. there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, you know what? I'm gonna control. Where's Where's Kevin? All right, I'm muting you, and you are done. You cannot. You cannot. Um, you're done. You're done. You're done, Kevin. Damn, just kick it out. Kick him out. No, I'm not. I can't. I can't kick. <laughs> He's gonna type down. I can't, I'm not kicking kids out. I'm not gonna kick kids out from an education. We're, I thought we were done. We are officially done. If there's no more questions, Brianna, you're good for three o'clock. So check your email. I'll send you a link. Kevin Hernandez, I'll send you a link for two thirty on, on sorry on Friday. Brianna, same thing, three o'clock on Friday. Um, and then we're good. Okay. What? Mister, I sent you an email. <laughs> I will. I will check my email. Let me check it right now, actually, and see what you sent. Uh, oh, there it is. Hey, Mister, one of your free. Really? Hey, Mister, one of your during the office, Melissa. During office hours. <laughs> that, do you want to do a 3.30, Melissa, on Friday? I'm fine with that, yeah. <laughs> you I said know, email, so I just sent you an email. You could have told me. 3.30 on Friday. Okay. Mr. Do you have a dog? I talking on Friday. I do, but it's not in my apartment. Aw. All right. So I'm full for Friday. Perfect. Wait, man, mister. What's that? Wait, man. I, I, I'm not mad, just frustrated. There's a difference. Why? There's a difference. Why? Mister, do you live alone in your apartment? I do, yes. Where's your wife or girlfriend or I don't it's know? Girlfriend's working, girlfriend living right at now. her parents' house right now because her work is a block away. And uh -huh. I live close to my parents, so I visit my parents a few times a week. So you're breaking the quarantine. Damn. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm breaking the quarantine to go see my parents. Are you still eating pupusas with a fork? Uh, there's no pupusas places that are open. Oh, I just ate right now, mister. I was eating two. You're eating two pupusas? <laughs> yeah. With your hands, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Always. Wait, what kind? What kind? Um, the cualquiera. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> mister, why is there a lot of people going out already? Like, I'm trying to go out now. Okay, we are, then we're officially done. I'm signing out. Uh, no, mister, I mean, like, to the street. No, mister. Oh, because people are sick of being inside. Yeah. Are you, Mister? I'm technically I'm keeping myself entertained. Nah, with work, I like being at home. I'm. I've been working out from time to time. I've been seeing my family from time to time. I've been seeing my girlfriend from time to time. 
Some keep Ooh, Mister, do you think we're gonna go back to school next year? Like, do you think we're gonna have a soccer season? I hope so. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm not a scientist, so I I can't tell you. Mister, you always have a fit in in the games whenever you go. What? Whenever I, what do you like mean? Like a tantrum, like a fit, a tantrum. Whenever I go. Mhm. Go to games? You mean? Yeah. He's never gone to a soccer game, so we wouldn't know. <laughs> what? At the volleyball games, the basketball games. Well, I always like to, to show up. Notice how you didn't mention soccer? It's because he's never gone. <laughs> oh, you I make it, I'll, I'll, make it, I'll make it to one game next season for sure. Nah, but, if we even Mr. have a season, Mr. Nah, nah. One game. Wow. Mr. Okay. Yes. Have you ever played soccer, though? I have. I, in fact, I played recreational soccer. Um, Leo. Oh. <laughs> I'm officially done for the day. I'm signing out. I will see you guys all. I beat Mr. Friday. Nunez 1v1 on basketball. Yeah. 1v1. I'm signing yeah. out. Uh, I will see you guys on Friday, some of you guys. If not, Monday. Get your homework and quizzes in. Grades will be up later today. Mr. Let's play Fortnite on Friday. I am.